once you get there, let me ask that you please stand to your feet if you can and read along with me or follow along with me as I read Romans chapter 1 verses 16 and 17. Hallelujah. As a matter of fact, read along with me. Even if you don't have the King James translation, amen, I believe that we will all end up in the same place and amen with the same understanding. Romans chapter 1 verse 16 and 17. Ready? Read. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. For therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith. As it is written, the just shall live by faith. Hallelujah. I want to talk to you this morning about moving from faith to faith. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading, hearing, doing, preaching. Hallelujah. And believing of his word this morning. Somebody say hallelujah. 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 Amen and amen. You may be seated this morning in the presence of the Lord and amen as we've been talking about moving. Moving beyond the shadow of the doubt. I want to talk to you about moving from faith to faith. Amen? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. From faith to faith. We, I want you to live beyond the shadow of doubt. Amen? Amen. I don't want doubt to impede you or stop you. Amen. To slow you down. I want to make sure that you, hallelujah, continue to move forward, upward, upward and forward. Because we learned last week, because God is always trying to lead you somewhere and take you somewhere, that if you're not following him, walking with him and toward him, amen, if you're standing still, it's really like you're going backwards because he's always on the move amen hallelujah we've got to always be on the move don't let doubt back you up from doubt to fear from fear to unbelief you've got to make sure that you're always living by faith the just shall live by faith hallelujah Hallelujah, as we move from faith to faith. Amen. I, I, I want to say this. Amen. Faith is what separates a just man from just a man. Amen. Hallelujah. Have you ever heard somebody that fell short of the mark in some point in some area and they say, well, I'm just a man. Amen. Well, if you live and walk by faith, amen, that's what converts the just a man into a just man. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And as a just man, even if you fall seven times, you get back up again because you're walking and living by faith. I want us to live by faith and move from faith to faith. Amen. From one level of faith to another. Amen. Does anybody want to live like that? Hallelujah. Live moving from one level of faith to another level of faith. Hallelujah. Always increasing. Always improving. Amen. Always doing better. I don't want to look at this year from next year and say I'm at the same point in my faith next year as I was this year. I want to move from faith to faith. And as we read the text where it says... The righteousness of God is revealed from faith to faith. That lets me know one thing about moving from faith to faith. That there must be an increase in revelation. I got to increase my revelation from the Father to move from faith to faith. I have to increase in revelation. Amen? Amen. Let's go to Romans chapter 10, verse 17. Another familiar verse of scripture, amen? But I believe these things, although they're basic and elementary, they're things that we need to uh, any now and then touch and remember, amen? Hallelujah. We got to tag up every now and then. You got to go back and touch the base, touch the basics so that you, amen, can go forward, Amen? Romans chapter 10, verse 17. I'm going to ask my honey bun to read that, if she will. 
So then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Amen. It says faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. It's when you hear the word of God preached, amen, that you hear the Holy Ghost speak to you, and faith comes as a result of hearing the Holy Ghost speak to you. Faith comes by hearing, and the hearing of the Holy Ghost comes by hearing the Word of God preached. Amen? Hallelujah. The measure of faith that you receive is dependent upon the measure of revelation that you believe. Let me say that again. The measure of faith that you receive, because we're talking about moving from faith to faith, increasing your faith, amen, you've got to believe the revelation that you receive from the B-I-B-L-E. And you get that revelation by hearing the Holy Ghost when you hear the Word of God. The Word of God is a two-edged sword, am I right? Amen. It's a two-edged sword, and it pierces even to the dividing asunder of soul, spirit, joints, and marrow, and is a deserter of the thoughts and intents of the heart. The two edges are the written word that I preach and the spoken word that the Holy Ghost says to you. If you don't hear two messages when you come to church... If you don't hear the Holy Ghost speak to you when you hear me preach, amen, you may need to find another church. Hallelujah. Amen. Because I may not be the one for you if you're not hearing two messages. You need to hear the Holy Ghost speak to you, amen. I'm not about playing games. I believe, amen, that there's somewhere that they, you can receive from the Holy Ghost. If it's not here, it's somewhere. But God is real, and you need to be hearing from God. You don't just come here to hear me. Hallelujah. Amen? amen? You don't just come here to hear me. Amen? You come here to hear the Holy Ghost. So you need to make sure that you are open to hear the Holy Ghost. Open to hear the Holy Ghost as you hear me. This is what it says in the book of Revelation several times. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith to the churches. That lets me know in order for me to hear what the Spirit is saying to the churches, I need to come to church. And in order for me to hear what the Holy Ghost is saying, I need to have a physical ear so that I can hear what the preacher is preaching. Amen? Two messages, what the preacher preaches and what the Holy Ghost is saying. Revelation comes when you hear the preacher preach and hear what the Holy Ghost says. Amen? Hallelujah. And you need to have an increase in the revelation that you receive from the Father if you're going to have an increase and a move from faith to faith. You can't confine your word to Sunday morning. You've got to receive the word more than just on Sunday morning. That's why I'm trying to make the word available for you 24 hours a day, 7 days a week online. Amen? I'm trying to make it so you can constantly be refilled, refueled, recharged with the word so there can be an increase, increase, increase in revelation. Amen? So that you can receive not only instruction from the B-I-B-L-E, but instruction from the very heart and throne room of God where he tells you what to do specifically about you. Amen? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There must be an increase faith. If I haven't defined it, let me go ahead and define faith a little bit because faith is used in such a generic way sometimes. Faith in a simple definition is believing God enough to do something about it. And you have to release your faith in order to increase your faith. If you never release your faith, you never increase your faith. <coughs> Let me give you a more current example and something of my own. Amen. 
Over the several years, amen, I've taught a few people how to drive. I first taught my honey bun how to drive. <laughs> then I taught Jerry how to drive. <laughs> then I taught Royal how to drive. I'm starting to teach Jared how to drive. And when you start teaching somebody how to drive, amen, you don't start off getting in the car with confidence, you get in the car with faith. <laughs> you get in the car unsure and uncertain of what's going to happen. But you do it anyway. But as you release that faith, amen, to do it over and over and over again, your faith increases to the point where you can eventually have confidence. See, so I'll ride with my wife, Jerry, even Royal, and go to sleep. <laughs> because I've released my faith in that area. Hallelujah. Now with Jerry, I haven't gotten there yet. <laughs> Hallelujah. But as I increase as I release my faith, I will get to the point we should be able to believe God more next year than we did this year. Amen? Amen? We should always be increasing in faith. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Increasing in faith from 30 to 60 to 100 fold. Hallelujah. From good to better to best. Amen? From the blade from, to the corn to the full corn in the ear, we should always be increasing what we can believe God for. Amen? Hallelujah. From manna to old corn to new fruit. Amen? What, is, what are you talking about? In the Old Testament, it talked about how initially they believed God for manna. That meant that they believed God to supply their need. Amen. But then at some point in time, they had to believe God not just to supply their need in the wilderness, but to move them into the promised land where they received the old corner of the land. But then at some point in time, they had to learn to believe God, to believe God for the new fruit. Hallelujah. Where they had planted and had increase and overflow. Amen. It's not enough to always be believing God in the wilderness wilderness for a last second barely getting by testimony. Amen? Yeah. We should be increasing in faith to where we move from the last second just getting by testimony to amen to the overflow testimony where you can be a blessing to somebody else. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There should always be an increase and a move from faith to faith. Pastor Jerry and Shavella Gatson welcome you to attend worship services at the Ornament of Grace Christian Center, 121 Express Drive, Suite C, Lansing, Kansas. Join us every Sunday morning at 10 a.m. and Wednesday evening at 6.30 p.m. My Bible says, hallelujah, he's able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think. For more information, call 913-240-6262, The Ornament of Grace Christian Center, where God's grace is sufficient for you.